What's going on guys, Blake Hawthorne, it's his turf. Tonight we're doing a 70 hour review on my Gravely ZX52. All right guys, so here's the problem we'll run into. Justin's not very good at coming up with names. Um, I can't really think of anything clever. So you're gonna have to leave a comment down below here to tell us what sounds good about equipment and uh, how we can actually kind of be, you know, kind of catchy. And uh, so if you leave a comment, you come up with something good, then we'll rename this night, whatever it may be, for equipment. Good idea. <laughs> That's what I think. All right, guys, well, tonight on I'm Not Clever Enough to Come Up With a Name Equipment Review, we are going to be looking at my ZX52 Gravely. Uh, I want to focus and have some respect for some of the comments I've had in the other videos and uh, really kind of focus on those for just a minute. All right, guys, so a lot of these comments came from our 17-hour pros and cons video we did about our Gravely ZX52. And the first one that I want to talk about is going to be the fact that it wasn't handling the hills. So if you saw that video, you saw where it was wanting to slide to the left side as I was going down this hill. And one of the comments said, well, I wonder if it has anything to do with the weight distribution of the fuel tank. Um, even though you do fuel it up on that left side, the fuel tank is very much center mass. So much of that weight is directly between the wheels, uh, center mass. I am curious if this has anything to do with it because on some of the older models, you'll see on like my ProTurn 152, is the fact that it actually, the weight distribution for the fuel tanks is on each fender, which is over each wheel. So I have a fuel tank on the left and the right side. Another comment that I want to talk about is going to be, somebody said, well, it's comparing Apple to oranges, uh, that you're comparing a residential to a commercial mower. I think that I have noticed that a lot. A lot of people have said, hey, the ZX52 is a residential unit. The great thing about it is it's actually an entry level commercial. And so I really have enjoyed running the machine, even though it doesn't have a lot of the, uh, you know, like fancy upgrades on the seat and stuff like that. Um, operation wise, it has done great. So I think that's kind of like a myth that a lot of people believe um, that it is a residential unit uh, when it is actually an entry level commercial unit. All right, another thing that I wanna talk about, it comes from our mod versus non-mod video that we did with Jason Shepard with Good Shep's Lawn Service. And that was the baffles and the spacing for our uh, mower blades. I think that this was a huge upgrade that Gravely did on this uh, newer models versus some of the older models uh, because the cut has been great. This unit actually has the original blades from the factory. I have not sharpened them yet. So we're 70 hours in, all the initial original blades, no sharpening done to them. Um, a big thing that plays into this is that myself or my supervisor um, or my dad has ran the mower a lot, but in the last 25 hours, I've actually given it to the crew, let them take it out, kind of get their opinion on it because their go-to daily mower is my Pro Turn 152. So I wanted to kind of get their opinions on it um, because they're so used to running my Pro Turn 152 in comparison to the ZX52. All right, so I've actually got some great feedback from my crews. They really enjoy this mower. A lot of them have actually tried to take it. Uh, seems like about every morning this week, the crew has loaded it up on their truck and trailer and taken it out to mow. So as far as cut quality, we do like the fact that we have that chute blocker that we can open up to full side discharge or shut down and go into mulching versus having the mulching plate that we have on our Pro Turn 152. Another thing that the crew has really liked about it, you know, it's newer, you know, it smells new, not really, but you know, it has that new car smell. And so guys just like it because it's kind of shiny and stuff like that. But as far as like performance wise, there's not enough of a difference on a two year old Pro Turn 152 versus this brand new ZX52. Hydraulics are very similar, if not the same. The deck and the cut quality is, you know, very similar, if not the same. And that's just some things that, that we've noticed. There's not enough difference to be able to say, hey guys, the Pro Turn is better because of X because we haven't found out what X is. Performing day to day, side by side, two year old mower versus brand new ZX52, they're, they're right there neck and neck. Great units and they're out there making me money and that's what it's all about. All right guys, so I mean honestly, there's not uh, something that I can sit here and tell you that the ZX52 is better or worse in comparison to our two year old Pro Turn 152. They both go out, they both lay down a beautiful cut, uh, they perform very well, and they make us money, and they make the grass look great, and that's what we're looking for in a unit. All right, so one con to this machine is I do feel like the front end may be a little bit lighter. I'm not sure how we could like test that to find out for sure, but when we're mowing on a hillside and we're really going up the hill, it feels like that front end just keeps raising up and wanting to like pull a willy. And so um, that's one thing that I do feel like it is lighter on the front end. I don't know if we want to put like a counterweight on the front or what we could do. Um, I know that we have those counterweights when we have a bagging system. We have that extra weight of the grass clippings behind us and we have those counterweights on the front. So I think that that would help uh, when mowing hillsides, but I definitely can tell it is lighter 
on the front end. So something else I'm looking forward to as we wrap up this 100 hour review is these laser edge blades that Gravely has sent us. So the cool thing about them is that they are actually supposed to sharpen themselves as you mow with them. If somebody wants to pull a stunt, kind of like what we did on that first 70 hours and not change the blades or sharpen them, these would be the blades for you. So we're gonna use those on the last 30 hours of running the machine and see how they do and kind of give you our honest opinion on these blades. My buddy Jason Shepard with Good Chef's Lawn Service has uh, been running them for about two weeks now. And so uh, that may be something that he and I kind of sit down together, talk about pros and cons on this specific blade later on. If you'd like to see a video on these blades, on these blades specifically, be sure and leave a comment down below and let me know and we'll shoot that video. All right guys, all in all, I've been extremely satisfied with this machine. Uh, the ZX52 has been great for us this season. Um, I'm very thankful to be a part of the Gravely Ambassador Program, but as you can see, I have ran Gravely from day one, and so just being a part of this group just feels like family, and that's really what I was looking forward to, is just having a brand that not only I believed in, uh, but somebody that we could do business with and continue to grow our platform here on social media. Um, the cool thing about running this unit is I have tried the compacts, I have tried the Pro 100 series, the 200 series. Um, I've done the stand, you know, the walk behind units. I haven't done the stand ons, but I'm hoping next year to get into the pro stances. And the great thing about running all of these different units throughout the last several years is that I can give you a very honest opinion. Um, I'm going to be purchasing this unit for my fleet, and the reason being is because how impressed I have been with it. And so I want you guys to know that, that this isn't just me shooting this video for, you know, for Gravely uh, to talk about how great it is. It is truly a wonderful machine and there are some significant savings on this machine versus the 100 or 200 series that I think that if you would, you know, run it, demo it and test it out for yourself, you would see the same thing that I see. Another great thing about me purchasing this unit, uh, like I said, because you know, two years from now, I'll be able to shoot you a video, let you know how it's standing up compared to the Pro Turn. Great thing about YouTube is we'll be able to look back at this time right now, where we're saying this unit is brand new compared to a two-year-old Pro Turn 100 series, and truly see how the machine has aged and how it's performing and what the pros and cons are. Because that's the thing, guys. You're not just looking for a unit that's going to last you 70 hours or 100 hours. Guys, you're looking for something that's going to last you 4,000 hours, like my original 60 inch mower has and that we continue to mow with today and guys that's why I stand behind Gravely so strong I really hope that you'll give them a chance in the when you're looking to purchase your next mower uh, but most of all guys just take all of this into consideration like I've said before find you a dealer some great dealer support there's some other great mowers out there on the market all right guys so I definitely look forward to wrapping up this hundred hour review on this machine giving you my final looks um, I do appreciate you watching this video tonight and I just hope that you'll leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you have any questions that you've seen from me operating this mower, maybe in this video or some of my uh, earlier videos on the machine, be sure and leave a comment down below and I would love to address that question either in the comment section or in our next video. So guys, God bless, take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Ready?